Books, a cassette of eight songs, and a wall freeze are available to accompany this series. For details, including prices, can be obtained from Mercury Educational Products, 8 to 10 Lower James Street, London, W1R, 3PL. Teachers wishing to place late orders should contact their local ITV education officer. A new computer software package, Match Spinner, will also be available shortly. Based on the successful Word Spinner package, Match Spinner is designed to help pupils cope with the early stages of number work at Key Stage 1. Full details can be obtained from Mercury Educational Products. This is the village where maths is fun. This is the village where maths is done. Look for the people that you will meet every time you see them walking down the street. These are the houses and they are known Each by a number all its own Along to the school gate and back again One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten Count all the places that you will see Listen to the stories that there will be Here in the village where we've begun to find out Maths is fun Maths is fun. Hello. Who can we see in the village today? Well, I can see Greedy, but I can't see Farmer Dunn. Oh, dear. That could mean trouble for somebody, couldn't it? I wonder who. And here are Mrs. Tapper and Mr. Wilson. I wonder where they're going. Could they be going to Kate and Ben's house? Let's find out, shall we? Ben and Kate were very excited because it was Saturday. Mr. Wilson and Mrs. Tapper were coming to dinner. Kate and Ben were upstairs getting changed. I'm going to wear my red skirt and jumper, said Kate. Ben picked out his new blue trousers and his new pale blue jumper to go with them. They went downstairs and Mum thought how smart they both looked. Ben asked Mum if she wanted any help. Well, it would be a great help if you could lay the table, Mum said. First, Ben had to find a tablecloth from the drawer. He found a green one and put it on the table. Kate started to lay the places. Ben, Kate, that's no good, said Mum. The tablecloth is much too short. Look, the cloth doesn't reach to the ends of the table. The table's too long. There is a longer tablecloth in the drawer, a big yellow one. Ben found the big yellow tablecloth and he put it on the table. This cloth was not too short. Ben and Kate couldn't see the table at all now. Kate and Ben laid places for Mrs. Tapper and Mr. Wilson and Mum 
and two more places for themselves. How many places do you think they'd laid? Ben and Kate counted. One for Mrs. Tapper, one for Mr. Wilson, one for Mum, one for Kate, and one for Ben. Yes, that's right. Kate and Ben had laid five places, one for each person. Mum told Kate and Ben that they could have a play before the visitors arrived. But make sure you keep your clothes clean, she said. Kate went off to do some colouring. But Ben had seen Greedy in the garden and went out to tell him about the delicious dinner they were going to have. When Ben got outside, he saw Greedy had got into Mum's vegetable patch. He realised that he had left the gate open and Greedy had just walked in. Well, Greedy was having a wonderful time eating the lettuces. Greedy, he shouted. Mum spent ages planting those lettuces. Ben tried to pull Greedy's head up. He was very gentle with Greedy because he knew he mustn't hurt him. But Greedy kept his head down and went on eating. Ben was getting desperate. He put his arms right round Greedy. Come on, he said. I'm going to be in terrible trouble. It was all my fault for leaving the gate open. Suddenly, Greedy raised his head and... Can you guess what happened? Ben wasn't expecting Greedy to lift his head and the next he knew, he was flat on the ground. Poor Ben. He was covered in mud. Now he was worried about two things. Mum's lettuces and his own dirty clothes. His clean jumper and trousers weren't clean anymore. Greedy saw that Ben was upset, so he thought he'd better go home. Ben got up and crept indoors to change his clothes. As he went upstairs, he heard a knock at the door. It was Mrs. Tapper and Mr. Wilson. Oh dear, now what shall I do, wondered Ben. He looked at the carpet. There were lots and lots of dirty footmarks. Now Ben really was going to be in trouble. Muddy clothes and a muddy carpet. What was he going to do? He rushed around the bedroom, looking for some clean trousers and a clean jumper. I know, Ben thought. I'll borrow Kate's. She won't mind. So Ben found Kate's pink jumper and quickly put it on. The jumper was much too long. It nearly reached his knees. That's because Kate's bigger than me, he thought. Now where can I find some trousers, he wondered. And he knew they had to be smart ones. He couldn't wear his school trousers. He couldn't wear his play trousers. And Greedy had spoilt his best trousers. But he couldn't wear no trousers, could he? Then he remembered that Mum had put some other trousers in a drawer. He found them and quickly put them on. But oh dear, Ben's legs had grown. His legs were too long for the trousers. The trousers didn't reach his feet. They were much too short. What can I do now, thought Ben. These trousers look silly. He tried to pull them to make them longer, but it didn't work. They were still too short, and the jumper was still too long. Poor Ben. He looked at himself in the mirror to make sure. Yes, his jumper was too long, and his trousers were too short. There was nothing he could do. Ben, shouted Mum. Coming, he said, and off he went downstairs. Um, hello, Mrs. Tapper. Hello, Mr. Wilson, said Ben, trying to act as if nothing was wrong. Hello, Ben, they said. They didn't say anything else. They just stared at him because he looked so odd. Kate began to laugh. Ben, said Mum. I wonder what Mum said next. Can you guess? <laughs> So poor Ben, he had a jumper which was too long and trousers which were too short. And I've got a doll here who's wearing a jumper and trousers. Now, do you think her jumper is too long? Or her trousers? Now, do you think that they're too short? Oh, I don't think so. I think they're just right. But she is very tired. She's ready for bed, so I think I'll push to bed. But which bed is hers? Do you think it's this one? Let's try her in it. Oh, no. This bed is far too short. Look, her feet are sticking out the end. 
She's too long for that bed. This bed must be the one for her. It's better. A long bed for a long doll. Now, this doll is shorter. And this is a short bed. Do you think she'll fit in this bed? I think so. Yes, that's very good. A short doll in a short bed. But I must make sure they don't catch cold, so let's cover them up. I've got a long cover for a long doll in a long bed. And a short cover over a short doll in a short bed. A long bed for a long doll. And a short bed for a short doll. Today, the song is all about, can you guess? That's right, long and short. The long and the short of it's for all to see. The long and the short of it is you and me. Look at the sizes, it's as easy as can be. The long and the short of it's for all to see. Short socks, long socks, together look wrong socks. Two different sizes, so the colors the same. Short socks, long socks, look very strange socks. What is the difference? I'll tell you again. The long and the short of it's for all to see. The long and the short of it is you and me. Look at the sizes, it's as easy as can be. The long and the short of it's for all to see. Look at the sizes, it's as easy as can be. The long and the short of it's for all to see. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye-bye. Two, three, is four, five, six, fun, seven, eight, nine, and ten.